morning everyone i am dr manmohan singh chauhan i am the head of department of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery at manipal hospital gurgaon so today we are going to discuss about the scope of services we at manipal hospital gurgaon are able to provide for cardiac patients under the department of cardiothoracic and vascular surgery so what the cardiac procedures that we are doing for for cardiac ailments these cardiac ailments they usually come under sub categories like chural heart diseases and diseases involving the coronary arteries and diseases involving the electrical circuit of the heart so the first thing we are going to discuss is the diseases involving the coronary artery which is also called coronary artery disease so for this coronary artery disease we the procedure we do is a coronary artery bypass grafting so what causes coronary artery disease coronary artery disease is involvement of the blood vessels that are supplying the heart so heart is a muscular structure and it has got a supply blood supply of its own and these blood vessels they provide blood flow along with oxygen and nutrition to the muscles so once these blood vessels they get blocked and by cholesterol or calcium then the blood flow to the heart is obstructed to a certain extent and usually if the blood vessels all the three blood vessels they get blocked then the total blood supply that a heart is receiving is just around 10% of the actual amount so because the blood blood flow is impeded and the muscles are not getting enough blood so the patient experiences chest pain and shortness of breath and this pain can can involve the abdomen the back or it may even radiate to the jaw or the left arm so these are the symptoms of coronary artery disease now who all are the patients who are going to come come to us for coronary artery bypass surgery so these are those patients who have got a tight left main disease a tight osteal led disease or a diffusely diseased coronary coronary status so uh, these patients usually have a heavily calcified led and uh, in these patients it is very very difficult to put in a stent or drill through it so the best option in these patients is a cabg so we need to understand that cabg is very very good procedure and it provides long term benefits from a reintervention and so how we do the cbg so in coronary artery bypass grafting we use blood vessels of the patient's own body these blood vessels can be the arteries of arteries that run beneath the chest wall the arteries in the radial artery then the veins can be taken from the legs so in total arterial bypass grafting that is also called lima rima y total arterial bypass graft we usually take the left internal mammary artery that is from the left side of the chest and the right internal mammary artery from the right side of the chest and these two blood vessels are anastomosed in a way in the y fashion and we give blood supply to the other parts of the heart by forming a meshwork so this is a very very effective procedure in the sense that total arterial bypass graft they stay patent for a very very long time and prevent restenosis so the patients usually do not require reintervention or even hospitalization for a long period of time long period of time i would say that it, should, it must be around 25 to 30 years that the patient need not worry about anything and they can carry out the normal activities daily activities for a long period of time so this is a total arterial bypass graft then we can use radial artery as well we can use saphenous veins and the saphenous veins we harvest is through by minimal invasive techniques so this is about cabg and the most important benefits we want to take out of we want to get out of cabg is that the patient should not require reintervention or hospitalization and he should get adequate protection from sudden cardiac death and the patient should be able to carry out his normal day to day activities with ease in long term the second surgery we provide is valvular heart surgeries so the valves what are the functions of the valves of the heart the valves provide unilateral unidirectional unhindered flow to the blood inside the heart and these valves in when they get disease 
they can get tossed that is shrunken or they may become leaky that is called regurgitation so there are four valves in the heart and any of these valves can get affected by the disease so who uh, so what are the symptoms of of valvular heart disease the patients usually complain of shortness of breath and they they may complain of shortness of breath when they lie down or on or on exertion and they may sometimes even complain of giddiness and chest pain so these patients require either a valve repair or a valve surgery or a valve replacement so valve replacement can be done with mechanical prosthetic valves and or shoe valve so that depends on what age group the patient is coming from and what what are the feasible options for him that depends from patient to patient that varies so this is about uh, valvular heart disease the another scope of services we are providing in at the manipal hospital gurgaon is surgery for the aorta so there are situations where the ascending aorta it gets dilated and the walls get thinned out so in these patients the ascending aorta that needs to be replaced if this ascending aorta is dilated and along with it the aortic root is also dilated or the valve is also leaky the aortic valve is leaky then we need to do a root replacement along with the replacement of the ascending aorta and this is called bentol procedure so we are doing bentol procedure as well here so this is about aortic surgery the other kind of surgeries we are providing is a congenital surgery for congenital heart defects like atrial atrial septal defect ventricular septal defect and for patients who are blue like blue babies called tetralogy of fallow so we are doing surgery for tof as well and this is for congenital heart disease the other surgeries we are covering here are vascular procedures in vascular procedures we are providing surgery for blockages in descending aorta in femoral artery and or other vessels of the of the lower limb and we also provide surgeries for vascular trauma so this is about vascular surgeries we are doing surgery for varicose veins as well and we are well equipped with with machinery for endovenous laser ablation as well so these are the scope of services we are we are covering in at manipal hospital gurgaon and you can feel free to talk about any of these procedures if you have been advised about these procedures anywhere else or you can come here for work up and we'll give a good advice about what should be done and what is what is best for you thank you